Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I'm gonna show you what to do if your screen goes off when plugging in the charger on Windows 11. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to switch to another power plan. To do this, press the Windows button, then select the settings icon. Afterwards, click on system on the left pane and then on the right side, click on power and battery. Now in here, make sure to select best performance or best power efficiency from the power mode drop down menu. Finally, just restart your computer and then check if the problem still persists. Next in line, another useful solution is to reset the power plant settings to default. To do this, press the Windows button, type in CMD, then run command prompt as an administrator. Now in here, just copy paste the following command that I posted in the description below, then just press on enter. Now you can just check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to change the Windows HDR settings. To do this, press the Windows button, then select the settings icon, now head over to System on the left pane, and then click on the Display category on the right side. In here, select the HDR category, and afterwards go to the Related Settings option and click on Video Playback. Now in here, under Battery Options, make sure to click on the drop-down menu and select the Optimize for Video Quality option. This can happen that if you have optimized for battery life selected under battery options, it will disable HDR when running on battery power and this sudden change in refresh rate might cause the Windows 11 laptop to simply turn off its screen when the charger is plugged in. And you can just check if the problem still persists. And lastly, another useful solution is to update or reinstall the graphics driver. To do this, right click the Windows button and select Device Manager from the list of options. And in here in the Device Manager window, make sure to expand Display Adapters, then right click on the problematic device and select the Update Driver option. Now click on Search automatically for drivers and Windows will try to find the latest available drivers on your PC. But if this method doesn't prove useful, you can also reinstall the drivers. So right click on the problematic device and select the Uninstall Device option. Now tick the box next to attempt to remove the driver for this device and then select the Uninstall button. Now simply restart your computer after uninstalling and then you'll see that Windows will attempt to reinstall your drivers automatically. And you can just check if the problem still persists. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? Of course, if this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching.